Let's take a look at measuring the camshaft lobe height. So now we can use a outside micrometer and we could measure across the base circle of our camshaft and then also at the standing height of our camshaft lobe and do the calculations and figure out what our lobe height or our lobe lift will be on this camshaft. Another way we can do that is using a dial indicator and leaving that camshaft on the V-blocks we use to check the runout or the straightness. What we want to do is see that our dial indicator is sitting at base circle. So what we mean by that is 180 degrees opposite the visible lobe height. We can see that right here. So the lobe comes down here, 180 degrees or the opposite side of the camshaft that would be our base circle. When we get there, what we're going to do is zero our dial indicator again. And now we just need to make sure that the dial indicator was set with enough travel that we can actually measure this. So I am going to do a reset of this dial indicator just to make sure that we have enough travel. So I'm going to zero this. Obviously, this is being measured in metric right now, and I could change this by just hitting the button and go to Imperial and measure in inches without a problem. So what we're going to do is zero at base circle, and we are going to roll the camshaft on the V-blocks. And what we're going to see is we're coming through base circle right now, and we're just starting into the lobe. And it's going to lift all the way up until we get to the very top. So we're going to know the greatest number is where our maximum lobe lift is. So we can see that right here. It's coming up. So we see the maximum number there is 8 millimeters. So I'm just going to continue to roll it. There we go, 8.01 millimeters. So that would be comparing the top of our lobe to the base circle. And that's going to tell us that our lift is 8.01 millimeters.